This is exciting. Check out the hometown hero, Sean Malto. Oh, he has never been in a position like this in his life. This last year has been tough. I was starting to feel really good skating. I was starting to feel really good on my board and I had to get another surgery. It was back to rehab. It was back to the challenges of getting physically better. It was back to the drawing board of learning tricks I already know how to do. It's been hard. When you're injured, time stops. Daylight doesn't matter. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner doesn't matter. You eat when you're hungry, you're awake when you're awake, you sleep when you're tired. And being off that schedule puts you in a whole different zone. I was really doubting my career as a skateboarder. I was like, this sucks. I hit like an all-time low. What's up, Nick? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good to see you. So Sean had a pretty nasty injury, dislocated the ankle, tore everything on the outside, had a complete lateral reconstruction of his ankle. That's where he went in and repaired all the ligaments that splay down from your fibula. This is where your fibula hit the ground. Boom, twisted like that. The overall consensus with the PTs that he saw before me was your is good as it's gonna get, get out there and skate. So Sean came to me and just said, I've got a bunch of pinching in my ankle and you know, this just isn't right. So we took some x-rays of it and it turns out that he had a two centimeter osteophyte in the front of his ankle. An osteophyte is a bone spur. They went in and they cut that piece of bone out, you know, basically freed up the ankle. The issue with that is, is that his ankle motion has been so restricted for so long that all of the soft tissue, all of the ligaments and all of the tendons doesn't want to move anymore. We have to go in there and stretch everything out and really get in and mobilize the joint surfaces themselves to stretch the actual joint out. It's just scary, I need to trust. This thing's going up there. Get it. That a boy. All right, thanks. See you next week. Yes, sir. Part of rehab is training in the gym and to get better physically. And another big part of it is to just have a place to go to shut the world out, to be by myself, get rid of all distractions, and to just feel skateboarding again. Work on the basics. These tricks that were really easy to me before that are challenging now, and it's just working through that to get them back and to get them better than before. No matter how well prepared, how much work you've done to get there, thousands of people in an arena expecting you to skate at your best ability at the point of a finger, at the sound of a buzzer. Create greatness now. And that is scary. So here's Sean Malto. He's currently in that elimination position. No pressure, Sean. <laughs> He's getting a 0.4 as the score. Man, tough, tough break. As much pressure as a skateboarder's ever had on his shoulders. And it shows. Good way to make up after that fail. Come on, Sean, put it together.
So much pressure for young Malto. What a champion, though. You can't knock that smile off his face. Is this good to flip? <sighs> Wait a little longer. A little longer? When I met him, I could just tell like something wasn't full and something was missing and something was wrong. He was sad about something and, and it was skateboarding. He, he couldn't do it every day. He couldn't do it to the best of his ability that he knew he could. It was really heartbreaking seeing him so upset and defeated, sitting watching skateboarding videos all day. So I tried to do my best to help him get back to this YouTube Sean that I know, that's what I call him. Because I don't know YouTube Sean. After a lot of nights by myself, to kind of slowly transition into skating with my friends again, was an amazing feeling. Skateboarding isn't all about who can do the hardest tricks. It's not all about who's better at what. It's more about cruising around with your friends and trying to do cool, creative things with this piece of wood. Every time I've skated with Sean, like whether we were on a trip, a handrail, it's like he'd show up to any spot, he always looked the comfortablest and always looked the tightest. Seeing him go through this injury, I've actually seen Sean a little bit off his game, which is strange to me. During these times, I've seen it get better and better where I'm like, that's the Sean I know. And I see him hitting the stairs, and I see him hitting the seven. It's not gonna be long before I see him in the top five again. Sean, everything came really easy for him. This is the first time he's had to really work hard to get back on point, work with the trainer. And I think that's kind of a blessing in a certain way because he's gonna overcome all of this and actually have some gratitude for being on board and being healthy and being fit. Things that come too easy for people, they take it for granted. Yeah! Guy Mariano, growing up as a kid and watching his videos and to see what he has done with skateboarding and what he continues to do has been really inspiring. He knows the ebbs and flows of skateboarding. He has been through rough patches, he has been through injuries, and he knows what it takes to fight through it. And me being 26, looking at Guy, a 39-year-old professional skateboarder, skating at the highest level he can skate at is unbelievable. Over this last year, he has been so helpful for me. And to just have a friend and a fellow pro skater to coach me through has been amazing. Tiba, you got a spot? Yeah, this is new, eh? Big tomorrow. It's crusty, but it looks like something you would totally be into. All right, cool. I'll see you there in 20. Send me the pin. Skateboarding is a love-hate relationship. There are some days where I go out and I absolutely hate it. I can't stand it. I have all the information mentally. I know exactly how to do this trick and I can't do it. Like this is so frustrating and so difficult. And some days I go out and I feel on and it is amazing it is the best thing in the world it's so like validating that's why these past six months have been so special for me i 
think that up and down, those times of, you know, feeling defeated and overcoming that make it amazing. You know, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be as fun. And there's something about that challenge and trying to go out and tackle that challenge that makes skateboarding just the greatest thing ever.